What is up everyone? Look what I have. Chicken tikka masala from Tandor in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Look at this. Oh man. That look good, don't it? Uh, Neelis got this for me. I uh, appreciate you, Neelis. Thank you to his wife, Smita, for picking it up. He's like, man, you gotta try this. Uh, Tandor is one of the better places, if not the best place in Murfreesboro to eat Indian food. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. So we're going to try this. And I got, <laughs> look at the rice. <laughs> rice is piled over, dog. Uh, got some naan bread. Got some naan bread. So uh, we're going to try this out. So you take this. Maybe I got too big a piece of bread. I've never had this before, so. I got mild. Mm hmm Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. It's mild. There's no, there's no spice to it. Oh my God. That's fantastic. Whole, holy crap! That, wow! I got, I got to get some more. No, I'm on. No, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a little rice. Do a little dippy dip. Do a little, little dippy dip. Mmm, dude. Mmm. Alright. Damn. I've been missing out my whole life. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. Like, dude. Like, like have you ever had a chicken tikka masala? Alright. Damn. And the fun fact about this, uh, Neelish, uh, I ate at his house one time. Um, his mom made dinner. I was like seventh grade. I won't ever forget it. It's the only time I ever got like Indian food. Um, it was so good. And I was telling him about it when I went and picked this up from him. And he was like, "Man, I can't believe you remember that." I was like, "Yeah." Like it was an important moment. Like I've never got to try it. Like it was just you know, your memories built around food is just like so crazy how you just remember all of it. Like you eat with your hands. And never got to eat with my hands like that before, you know. Um, it, it was excellent. Like, it, it's, like this right here, this is fantastic, and I'm a super fan. And would definitely be going checking out Tandor in Murfreesboro. Uh, this is delicious. Like, if you get a chance, 100% go get this. Like, damn. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Smita. Ginger, you missing out, bro. Sorry about your luck. Hey, I just wanted to come back on here. I realized I really didn't talk about the flavor of that food. I was just so blown away by the flavor. Like, um, it, the taste is savory, you know, like super savory and just buttery. Like the, the mouthfeel is like the sauce is buttery. And it's just heavily seasoned, like perfect amount of spices. Like, man. The, the rice is even seasoned. Like, it has a, a, a little seasoning in it. Like, it tastes good on its own. Um, I was just blown away. I'm sorry. Uh, the naan is really good by itself. But everything, like, together. Like, that flavor is just amazing. Like, like I said, I've been messing out my whole life. Yeah. And the flavor is familiar in a way. Like, the herby, the herbiness or... Uh, the, the seasoning that, that is used, like, I still have it lingering in my mouth, and I'm not mad. It's freaking delicious, guys. Uh, like, I see why, like, some of the videos I've seen, like, uh, with people eating Indian food, and, and it just blows up because they're just like, what is this? Like, I see now, I understand, like, they're not BSing it. Like, they're for real. Like, holy crap. This, man miss out if you haven't tried it um the mild is that i got from tandor in murfreesboro 
that's where it's from um it's super mild all right if there was any kind of heat level it was minimal for me personally and uh it's it, it, 100 percent definitely need to try it uh at least once if you don't like it okay fine but you might fall in love so be careful very careful